Yo, yo, yo. Oh my god. I I was fucking muted. God damn. I I'll, I'll <laughs> I was fucking muted. Feels bad, man. Alright, I'll start all over again. Um Coffee spirit time boys. Um I've got my coffee ready. We got some beautiful jazz playing. Um Yeah, you know how how was your how was your sleep, boys? Mine <laughs> it 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 wasn't that extremely bad, but it got interrupted. I'm gonna elaborate on that slightly later on, but um <laughs> But yeah, um we're gonna chill uh, a little bit in the reddit uh, For the start our ask reddit if stoner movies didn't mean movies about smoking weed But instead movies that are fucking amazing to watch while you're high What are your favorites and that is actually a really good point because um, You know there's stoner so-called movies which portray this side of weed that is just just like you you could you could use the word stupid you know you know being locked on a couch i can <sighs> it's it's it, it can be funny if you're open-minded but if you're not it's just it's not a very it's not a very good side or aspect let's say of the v to portray especially in a movie because people can you know, less op less uh, knowledgeable. Oh my God, this word, knowledgeable people will will think that you know weed is only that, but it's not. You know, it had well, it, it definitely has those aspects to it. You know, where you can be silly and all that jazz, but it's not only that for sure. And there's stoner movies that por sort of portray this stupid aspect, and that's it. You know, and um. Yeah, people can, if they're, if they're never, you know, done it themselves, they, they can acquire a <laughs> not the best um, perspective upon weed. Um, so yeah, that's actually a, a really good point because, yeah, there's, there's like good movies. Not necessarily about anything, smoke, anyone's uh, smoking weed, but just like in brilliant movies that sort of uh, usually it, it fucks with your mind a little bit. Um, especially on weed, th those movies are really good. Well, actually, um, you know, I, oh, I, I can tell you a little, a little story. Uh, so basically, um, um yeah you know it's been a while you know i'm i'm on a sort of a yeah i will use the word spiritual road and it all started actually <laughs> because of me watching a certain movie while high if i if i wasn't watching that movie or you know on weed um, I wouldn't have been as open-minded and you know certain connect I, I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been able to make certain connections in my brain and uh, yeah, it, it, it's yeah it, actually it, it's you could say it's sort of how it started out for me I'm not gonna get it too much into details but well, I was already open-minded. Before anything, I was... Uh, I remember I've watched... Um, a movie called Inception. About, you know... En uh, entering... Into, into dreams. And being lucid and being able to like control the dreams. Or, well... <sighs> it's better to just watch the movie. It's, it's brilliant. Well... At least for me, it's brilliant. It's called Inception, and um, yeah, from that movie, uh, 
a certain interest sparked in me about you know about dreams about uh, I've researched a little bit if it's possible to do it I didn't even know that lucid dreaming such like you know such thing as lucid dreaming existed so <laughs> I didn't even I, I remember I didn't even like look for 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 that like for that specifically I've just researched a little bit and then I found out about lucid dreaming I got I got myself into that and it's sort of like uh, just think about think about it um, becoming aware and lucid in a dream <laughs> so it, it, it's deep it's deep I think that later on sparked something similar in a way but not in a dream in reality you could say well there is a way to become sort of uh, a different kind of aware and you know reality <laughs> so oh yeah that's a short story hmm I'm actually loving the you know morning spirit coffee time uh, shit uh, shit that I'm doing it's good um I'd right, actually uh, before I before I read anything else um yeah I'm gonna talk a little bit about my um, about my night and it's it well it wasn't just this one specific night I've got I've got some problems I'm not gonna lie <laughs> you know yeah I'm just gonna put it like that I, I've got some problems and I'm not even sure it, it's mostly mental I think so basically there was a period in my life where I've had like panic attacks and shit I felt sort of disconnected from like from my body even like I think people I think people call that shit um, derealization or, or, or something like that where you sort of like feel slightly disconnected from your body <laughs> it's uh it's not well if you if you if you don't think about it it's fine sort of you just feel weird but you're not scared but if you <laughs> If you go down that spiral of overthinking about it and thinking thinking that, you know, something's wrong with you, it can get pretty fucked up. So, long story short, um, um, uh, that whole peri period made me think that there, there might be be th that there might be something wrong with my heart with my health because i felt weak i remember you know i like you know when you're you're fine you can sort of like clench your fists and you know and during that period i i, I like i couldn't do that properly you know that sort of weakish feeling yeah and you know Thinking that something's wrong with your health definitely made me go down that spiral of fucking fear e even deeper. And uh, yeah, it was pretty shitty. Pretty shitty to the point of... I remember one morning I was sort of like walking in my apartment and... Um, <laughs> I was like contemplating about my life sort of like... Like, you know, did I live well? Um, do I regret shit or not? Because I felt like, dude, it can all end. And uh, it, it's pretty fucking scary. But also, it was beautiful because it... It, it um... It, um... It, it definitely made it more more clear and uh, it made it clear that I'm definitely living the way I want to because I've said to myself that even if shit hits the fan 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be one of those, I'm not gonna try to be one of those, you know, fucking hyper spiritual dudes who fucking can just accept death. <laughs> I, I've said to myself that I'm gonna be scared, I'm not gonna lie, but that fear will not mean that I, that I regret or that I'm like, not happy about things. Basically, I, well, I've just... I've contemplated for a little bit and I've decided f firmly that I'm happy, you know, I'm grateful. So if it happens, it happens. Uh, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be scared, but it's all right deep down, you know, sort of a. Um, well, some time passed and I actually uh, got over it and I began to work out once more, you know. My trust in my body got back up, you know. Uh, well, basically, I, I went over that shit, but from time to time, still something in me triggers the fear. And um, that's what happened last night. Yeah, just... You know, before going to sleep, my, my my head didn't hurt, but it was sort of like heavy. So I think that was like one of the components. Then, um, um, I've you know, uh, when I'm feeling completely fine, like I don't even need anything going on in the background. I can just like lay on my back and just sleep, you know, just let go. But that night I couldn't do that, like, I, 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 I laid on my side because I feel more secure in a way. Um, I've, something was playing on my phone in order to like call my nurse or, 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 or something like that. And you know, well, I, I did fall asleep. But then I had sort of like a, not, I, it wasn't like a brutal nightmare, but it, it was sort of like a scary dream, and it, and also it involved like a uh, like a specific person, which I'm going through shit with, you could say. <laughs> so I that dream woke me up, and um, and what happened was like at that moment the fear was already starting to like take me over in a sense because I began to 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 not like the silence more and more you know this it's not even like silence dude in, in a very silent night the silence is not even silent <laughs> at least for me it's sort of like it can be o almost overwhelming and yeah I began I began to be scared uh, to become scared of that uh, and uh, yeah, I, I I don't know how to describe it properly. The best way I would do it is, you know, just a couple, just certain certain aspects. Spa oh my god, English language. Certain strings were pulled in my brain, and uh, and boom, I'm I'm in a panicky mode, you could say. And, uh, you know, I've began, I've, I've began uh, to feel into my body, into my heart, and, the, uh, well, the, you know, the key shit that sort of scared me was that I couldn't feel my heart, like, I, like, I could feel it, and it, it, it wasn't, it, it wasn't like it was going too slow or too fast, you know, like, pumping, it, I think, you know, the weight of it, it was fine, but it, it was so sort of like shallow, like, and I began to think, fuck, maybe something's wrong and all that jazz, and by that point, I was already gone, I was already gone into, into that spiral I was talking about, um, but don't get me wrong, uh, I've, 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 I've learned, I've, I can overcome this shit, you know? When I was talking of the period, of that really hard period, period of, you know, <laughs> uh, 
of uh, anxiety and, and panic uh, attacks and all that shit. That that period was really fucking hard. Like, but now I'm I'm sort of like in a way over it. I can I can handle it. So it, I don't want to uh, portray this image of you know that it was really fucking difficult last night. It it was at times. It was to the to the point of like you know like I j I just basically got out of bed and. Uh, Yeah, I've checked my blood pressure and <laughs> I feel, did I feel like an old man did like <laughs> I'm an old I'm an old fella did <laughs> um, But yeah, it was fun. It was fun and uh, I was hungry as well. So I ate and You know when you eat you become sort of more vital in a way uh, Yeah, my my hands were beginning to to get warm and all that jazz and yeah I sort of got over it. I've I've calmed down. Um Yeah. And um Yeah, I've last night I've realized a couple things that I was well, first thing is that I was I'm not do I need more time to like think about it, uh, but I think um, sometimes I repress or suppress certain shit. I'm not gonna get too much into detail here, but yeah, I think that has to play a card of in in you know in the game of why <laughs> sometimes I experience shit like that. Um. And but one of the most interesting thoughts or ideas, maybe even not actually, it's not even like an idea. It was more of a realization. Um, well, it was that that my so my working out and staying in in shape staying healthy habit uh, or need or the want uh, it, it, it's I wouldn't say it, it's neurotic just yet but it definitely can be at times because when I work out you know if everything goes well it eliminates the thought of like shit, maybe there's something really wrong with my body or my heart. It, it eliminates that shit, and not only the physical aspect of things, uh, also you know the, the mental. You know, uh, like sort of like in a in a manly way, you go out there. You know, it's cold. You you work out, all that jazz, and uh, it strengthens you. And I could I could very well be addicted to it. Just because of the, of the, uh, just because it eases my mind on the, on that phenomenon <laughs> where I get scared and panicky and all that jazz. I think working out helps me with that. So yeah, I realized that it can it it can get pretty uh, neurotic even. Like for example, if I would if I would stop working out. Like even if I'm fine, I could start like I would l like lack something, I think. And uh, yeah, and like I'm not sure. Maybe that wouldn't happen, but there's a chance that like if I stopped working out, that you know that negative spiral of fear could like easily. Like, it, it would have a lot more power over me, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, something like that. So yeah, if anyone of you watching, if there's anyone are going through anything like that, or or anything really, anything, I'm, I'm sending energy. I'm sending energy because I know, <laughs> I know how, fuck, like, how certain problems shitty feel shitty you know yeah well I gotta follow up on the coffee hmm 
but yeah I think I, I think I'll make another video about like a proper not even like yeah like a like a just like a proper video about my experience with that shit and, and I'll make it more in depth because uh, well for example uh, I, I I enlisted myself to the uh, army here in Lithuania but because of that period I, I couldn't go there <laughs> or oh, that shitty period uh, about six to seven months ago um, I couldn't go there so there's yeah, there's shit to talk about definitely I think I, I think I might even though I'm not dev I'm definitely not fully over that shit myself but I, I can still help people if if anyone's going through something similar for sure um, um But yeah, um, well, I've got a little bit of the coffee left, so I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll see if, I'll see if I find anything, uh, you know, anything interesting here. There's a bunch of street fighting videos. Ah, uh, no, not November, the final day. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, yeah, actually, dude, me and me and uh, a buddy of mine, we were, <laughs> we were, uh, uh, yeah, we decided to go for the no, not November channel challenge once again. <laughs> but what happened? We we both failed like first weekend. Um. Yeah, we both failed, and I well I failed, and I didn't even s say to him that I failed because I thought maybe he's doing good, and I don't want to like discourage him, you know. So I didn't say anything to it, to him. But later on, we talked a little bit about it, and turns out he failed as well, and he didn't want to say anything about it to me because he thought maybe I'm doing good. But you know, uh, no nut, no fab. Well, I'm not gonna get in, in it. I'm not gonna get myself into like the 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 benefits and all that jazz right now, but or you know just certain ideas about it, thoughts, perspectives. But yeah, I'm just gonna say that. I well, whenever I'm like, whenever I'm like, I now I'm I'm doing the you know the like setting like setting a specific like a month. To, to do no fab, I, it's always a whole lot harder for some odd reason, you know. Because I'm able to no nut, I'm able to fucking not masturbate for pretty long, and but it's different. I didn't even like set the challenge for myself. I just sort of like in a subtle way stop doing it for a while, and then. Well, basically, I don't think about it. There's... For example... Uh, yeah, it, it's a whole... Like, for example, if you would try to... No fab for a month and you would count every day, it would be harder for you to do it because... Every day, as you're counting the days... You're reminding yourself of fapping, of porn, of all that jazz. <laughs> and, uh, or for example, you know, if you're gonna, let's say... Uh, smoking cigarettes, you know, addiction. When you stop, you don't think about it, and that's the point, you know. You're, you you don't need it. You 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 don't think about it, and uh, and if it happens that you're counting the days as as you're not smoking, it means that you're not you're you're not free. And uh, yeah, it's different. What I mean. I mean, not different, but the same with, you know, no fapping. Um, yeah, I just go into a certain mode where I don't even think about it and I don't count the days and I don't want to, like, accomplish a specific amount of days, kind of a goal, you know. 
and I'm free from it and it, it's a whole lot easier and uh, I just do it and I, I like for example right now I don't know I believe it could be about two to three weeks right now of no fab sort of but yeah I, I don't know specifically and that shit helps and that shit helps um yeah that's pretty much it I'd say <laughs> you know we, we talked about like you know, we talked about uh, sort of like you could say a, ser a more serious of, uh, of nah, actually fuck that shit. No fabric is serious as well. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was sort of more more kind of a downer topic, you know, about you know the topic about panic attacks and shit. And, you know, we're gonna finish up with <laughs> no fapping. We're gonna end on a good note. Um, I still got a couple sips left. Um, um, but yeah, yo, boys, that's pretty much it. Coffee time. Ep uh, the second episode of Coffee Spirit. Coffee time. I'm not sure how to even call it. Uh, yeah, coffee spirit seems good. Seems fine. But the only problem of that is because I might stop <laughs> stop uh, drinking coffee. Uh, you know, one day because I've done that in the past, and uh, I kind of want to do that. <laughs> so it's gonna be weird to call it. You know, coffee spirit. So, I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. I'll, ha I'll have to think about... <laughs> just... I don't know. Maybe... This morning spirit could, could suit... Could suit the... You know. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it, boys. If anyone's listening... Uh, I love you. I love you. I appreciate... Anyone watching because yeah, I don't have many people watching and it, it means a lot and I'm sending energy, good vibes, good chakra. Have a good day boys, have a good day. Peace.